Well, folks, of course, we're not talking about checking under our car hoods, as my ridiculous title slide might suggest. We're talking about checking under our aquarium hoods. I've had this video in the can for about a year and was thinking about whether I would produce it or not because this is such a simple concept, but then I caught myself doing this again the other day and neglecting a certain part of my aquarium hood, which is what we're gonna talk about in this video. So if you have studded plant growth, you might wanna check under that tank hood. Here's why, coming up. Now granted, there are a lot of ways that we can have stunted plant growth, but there's one specific situation I'd like to highlight in this video. So let me paint this picture. You have the right lighting, you're doing your water changes, you've got the right fertilizer, a great dosing method, your plants are grown, everything is great, and then all of a sudden, your plants aren't responding as well. But you haven't changed a thing. This has happened to me before, and in every case, it's been the same. So remember, our plants have to absorb all those nutrients and they need light to do it. Photosynthesis has to occur. Now in our tank, our light has a tough job. It's already got to move through the water column. And the farther it moves down, the more it disperses, the less intense it gets. So it already has a tough job, especially with our deep tanks. So in this situation, what's the major culprit, at least in my experience, I hired one of my guys to talk about it. What are we gonna talk about here, guys? So, yeah, what? Guys, come on, come on, definitely... stop. Stop. What? I'm in the moment. I, I gave you guys one line. Who has it? Oh, uh, dirty aquarium hood. Thank you. Dirty aquarium hoods. Go about your business, guys. Please keep it PG. Dirty aquarium hoods. And you can see these three hoods. This was shot about a year ago, and this was at a time where I, my husbandry, so to speak, on my hoods and glass wasn't too good. So our light already has a tough job penetrating the water column but we make it harder on our light if we have built up calcium deposits or built up algae growth on our hoods or our glass. So we wanna clean those up to let our light through. Best way to do that, distilled white vinegar, which will clean up the aquarium hoods and the glass very nicely. Now an algae scraper or a paint scraper is also a useful tool to get some of those hard areas where the calcium deposits have built up considerably or where there's algae that's tough to get off. And I have my sponge relegated simply to fish use only. And I go with a straight vinegar solution for the hoods as opposed to if I was breaking down and cleaning a tank, I would use a diluted vinegar solution for the inside of the tank. I'll post a video on cleaning and breaking down a tank on a card up above. But for the hoods, I just go with the straight distilled white vinegar. And after a little scraping and cleaning, you can see the difference that it starts to make. And this one took a while. My husbandry wasn't too good back then, but I'm getting better. So on the left-hand side of the tank, you can see the cleaned area. And on the right-hand side, in that small area I left so you could see the difference, see how cloudy that is. Now we expect our light to have to penetrate through that. It's gonna make it tough on our light. So you can see the difference there. Now, an alternative to using distilled white vinegar is good old H2O2, 3% hydrogen peroxide, which is harmless. It'll turn into water and oxygen after 24 hours, but we're gonna clean it up and dry it anyway. But I wanted to show you the difference it makes on this glass for my 10 gallon tank. And after a little scraping and cleaning, and this corner here in particular was really bad. So this one took a little bit of time to get through. But you can see the difference in the glass, little elbow grease, little H2O2, and you can see how clean that is. Our light will be able to penetrate through that much easier than this, the before picture. And again, here is our after picture. So this is a very simple concept, but it's something that occasionally I forget about and it's important for your plants. So give your glass or hoods a check during water changes or every few weeks, keep them clean, let that light through and keep those plants growing. Folks, The Den is now on Instagram, just started posting there. Join me if you are so inclined. And if you do have a pothos plant growing out of your car engine, you might want to go get a service on that. Please like, comment, subscribe for future content. As always, folks, thank you for the support and thanks for watching.